Hi, it's Tess, and today's tip is tip 398, and I'm calling it the winds of change. And as you can tell by the background, I'm back home in the real world. Um, and today, the reason I thought about winds of change is that uh, I've been in masterminds the past two weeks, and um, it's kind of sad that they're over now, because I truly, truly enjoyed them. There was a lot of learning. There was a lot of meeting new people. And uh, it's something I look forward to be participating in and can't wait till the next one happens. But it did kind of make me think of that, that phrase, winds of change. So this morning I looked up articles related to winds of change. And what I kind of found is that in all areas of life, the winds of change are influenced. And when I was looking up winds of change, it talked about like we have the we have changes occurring in digital currency. We have changes occurring in foreign affairs. We know there's a war going on. We have climate changes. We have law claims. Um, we have humanitarian issues, women's issues. You know the uh, oh how am I going to forget that phrase? But uh, Me Too movement that was going on. Uh, political elections. Everywhere we look in life, there are changes. And, and I did walk with my mom this morning, so I'm back on my normal routine. I tried to stick with my routine as much as possible while I was traveling. And thankfully, after two weeks of traveling, I am down a couple of pounds, which is pretty, makes me very happy because the old me probably wouldn't have had that, that uh, result. But what it made me realize is that it is in all areas of our life that we have to make changes and that we have to be ready and we have to adapt. Whether we like it or not, things are going to change. There's climate changes, there's market changes, and, and even really truthfully, we as people have to be ready for change, but in the same sense, so do our employers. Like, it's kind of funny because I've already been back online trying to answer emails and trying to get my to-do list together. And I'm kind of realizing, you know, even employers are going to have to understand that the world is different and the way it moves forward is different and how they're going to retain people is different. And we as employees are going to have to be different in the skills that we're obtaining and in the way that we move forward. Um, every area, you know, you can either look at change or the winds of change in one of two ways. You can either be fearful, angry, frustrated, and nasty through the whole process, which just kind of draws that kind of energy back to you. Or you can be hopeful, curious, excited, and looking forward to what can be presented by these changes. Um, I'm going through a lot of changes. These masterminds are introducing me to all kinds of ideas and all kinds of opportunities that I may not have ever thought were even available to me. And I'm going to look at it with excitement, with curiosity, and with hope, to be full of hope as we move into the months ahead. And if, if there's anything I can say for all of you guys, if you can look to that, if you need to connect with a different circle of people so that as you move forward, you have people of a like mind to connect with, that might be something to do. But in looking at this idea of winds of change, it's gonna happen in all areas of our life. It's happening digital currency, it's happening foreign affairs, it's happening climate change, uh, the humanitarian, the political questions, it's everywhere and we either have a choice. We fight it or we make the best of it and try to come through this in a much better place. And my goal is a much better place. And my hand is always out hoping that I'm helping somebody else in that journey because as I turn around and look, there are many, many people with their hands out trying to help me go forward. Well, hello, Miss Eileen. Um, we missed you this past weekend. It's, uh, hopefully we'll get get you with us the next time. But I, it really did make me think, because like I said, I woke up this morning with that phrase, the winds of change on my mind. And that I'm sure that has a lot to do with me being at Masterminds for the past two weekends. But realizing that every single area of our life is going to be impacted by change. And it has to be, and, and this is not new. This has been going on for centuries and centuries. We either adapt to and make the most out of it and come flying through it, feeling good, hopeful, joy, curious, and achieving things we never even dreamed were goals, or we feel angry, sad, and we become the cranky old neighbor next door that's always pointing at one blade of grass whining. So we all have to pick which avenue we wanna go on. And you know me, I'm going to hit all, I'm going to hit the mastermind circuit as much as I possibly can. I'm going to work to improve my life and I'm going to work to leave a legacy of maybe positive energy, positive thoughts and help 
for people that are ready to reach their hand out. Never a hand out, because like I mentioned last week, a hand out is a, a form of rescue. And rescue, there comes a point in time where we can't be rescued anymore. But if we always, if each one of us reaches back, to help somebody hand up, and then we turn around and accept that hand up that someone else has for us, maybe we can start to feel um, more positive energy in more people and make this world better and better every single day. I guess I better get back into answering these emails from being gone for a few days, but thank you guys for being there. Thank you for supporting me. And the winds of change can be scary, but try to turn that around and let it be something that's full of excitement, joy, hope, happiness, and opportunities that you never dreamed could be out there for you. Have a beautiful day. I will, I will be in Doc V's live group tonight, and so I'll get back on a, a, a schedule with this. But the past two weeks have been amazing for me. I adore the people that I spent those weeks with. I've learned so much from them. And I am really excited, really curious, really hopeful, and looking forward to what the future is. So remember, pick that positive direction on all these changes. They're gonna happen whether you like them or not. So in the approach that you have on it can make your life and your journey feel better. Have a great day and I'll see some of you tonight and the rest of you tomorrow. Have a good one.